I'm Cheryl Ray. I have had all kinds of amazing life experiences, some of them more amazing than others. And one of the things that I've learned in life is that God created me to be love and light. One of the ways that I do that now is through things that is through things that I make. But besides that, here being a part of the the Rio Grande Center for Spiritual Living, I run sound, I'm part of the Board of Trustees, and I want to do everything that I can to help this community to reach out to the public and to, to meet the needs of the people that are right here with us. Years ago, I taught myself how to crochet. That was after my aunt tried to teach me how to knit. That didn't go so well. But so I, I did some little, little things and you know, they kind of went like that. And, and then, then I learned how to make them go straight up and down. And I did very basic things. And then I was in a very dark place in my life. And we all know that the brightest light comes out of the darkness. And so, so while I was in my dark place, I learned more about crochet. I learned the names of the stitches that I was doing. And I learned that some of the stitches that I imagined doing were actually real stitches. It was pretty much a lot of fun. And so I started, I did a lot more of blankets. Um, this, is, this is one of them I did in time that I couldn't do anything else. So this is a really nice warm piece. Uh, but, but where I learned to read patterns, initially learning how to read patterns, these ladies taught me how to make hats. I've, I expanded on it. I make them extra, extra thick so we can be extra warm. And I like to make, make, make things match I'm a coordination freak. I got to have things match. Yeah, the, the wrap doesn't match with the hat, but that's okay. Who's going to see me when I'm sitting in my living room? But they taught me th the basics things that I can do my, 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 my bookmarks. This is something that is beautiful and simple and very functional. No two are alike. And everybody that I have ever given one to absolutely loves it. So this is going to be a really good piece for you to grab hold of for stocking stuffers for Christmas. Don't miss out. I've got several different colors and I've got more coming. One of the other things that, that I learned actually in reading patterns was making doilies. And what I've found is that once you know the rules, you can break the rules. And so... I learned the rules and then I went out on my own and made my own patterns in each one. I never know from the get-go what it's going to become. Just like in life, you just don't know where you're going to go from this moment forward. You know you're going forward, but you don't know what it's going to look like. That's what my doilies are about. Just like this one. I didn't know where it was going to go but it knew what it wanted to be. Just like spirit knows what spirit wants me to be and creates me on a daily basis, we'll do the same for you. And so I have several more of these, actually quite a few more of these because I got bored and I, I crocheted. This is a way I can let my creative side out. This is part of my co-creation of life is making things beautiful for people to enjoy. And I want you to have the opportunity to enjoy them as well. And like I said, I've got more coming. But you can get yours at the Spirit Bound Bookstore. And if you don't see what you want or you don't see a color you want, I might just have what you need. So make sure you talk to me about that. In the meantime, go ahead and head over to the Spirit Bound Bookstore here at Rio Grande Center for Spiritual Living and see what you can do for your Christmas shopping or for yourself. Have a great day. Oh my God.